What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And uh, I kind of want to touch on some news today. A lot of people been hitting me on Instagram and trying to get in contact with me, telling me about Chicago World News. So uh, I've been getting in contact with a lot of his people, reaching out, trying to see what's going on. And uh, I've been hearing he was uh, arrested. He got locked up. I'm not exactly sure, so I can't verify this, but that's what I've been hearing. You know, uh, a little while ago, one of the last videos he dropped was about D. Rose. That's a guy who who's part of the Team 600 movement in Chicago. And uh, he was talking about how he was falsely accused of murder him and a few other guys. And he was also talking about how he had proof, a video that proves their innocence. Then all of a sudden, you know, not to start rumors and shit, but his YouTube channel came up, deleted. It was disappeared. We no longer could find it on YouTube. And uh, there was no kind of activity on his social media site. So that was leading people to believe something bad happened. But uh, I've been hearing that he was arrested. Now, remember, I can't verify this. This is just what I've been hearing from a lot of people and even people who are super close to him were saying things like this. So I was just letting you know that's my latest three reports. If I get any more information on this, I'm going to keep you updated. You feel me? But you got to subscribe to my channel and most definitely follow me on YouTube and check out this snippet of this interview I did with Chicago World News a little while ago. But I appreciate it, man. Congratulations to you, too, bro. I want you to know I think you got one of the dopest channels on YouTube. That's love, bro. That's love, man. I don't think a lot of people know how hard it is to start a YouTube channel and get into blogging. You think you can give us a little in look in that? Man, bro, it was like about four months, man, before I even had like 100 subs on there, man. Like, I just started off basically, I just had like some like primitive ass videos bro it was just like photo slideshows just about the neighborhoods where i had worked in the neighborhoods where i had lived in chicago that was how i started off man you just like describing the hood describing the blocks and stuff like that and i would get maybe like 10 views 15 views. <laughs> that was how it was for like the first four months bro and then actually um like the story that kind of started my channel growing was when pappy got killed right because because Pappy, uh, I had worked at Pappy's high school, and I had also lived, you know what I'm saying, on his on the block where his gang is at. So I had some information that the regular media didn't have about that story. Right. So when I dropped that video, you know what I'm saying, I was noticing, like, the views starting to go up and up. I was getting, like, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. I was like, dang, man, this is crazy. Right. I had never had that many views ever, and I, I saw my subs starting to go up after that video. So it was after that, like, I started dropping videos more, like, every day, but Previous to that, I had just been dropping videos maybe like once a week or something like that, but... Yeah, man, that's how it was, bro. That's dope. You know, not to get too much into it, but I be seeing videos of you on the internet with, like, an issue with, like, PBG. You think you can speak on that a little bit? Is that the media blowing that out of proportion? No, I mean, matter of fact, I just dropped uh, my latest video uh, that I just dropped today was about that because uh, me and Bang, hit a, you know what I'm saying, had been going back on Facebook, back and forth on Facebook um, yesterday. I mean, here's, here's the thing, bro, like, that's a complicated situation because, okay, like I said, I originally lived on their block, and I worked at the high school that young Pappy went to, right? Right. So I knew, I knew a bunch of people from that neighborhood, um, and I knew who those those Morse GDs and all of them were. Right. Uh, but, like, this younger generation, I wasn't really familiar with them. I knew, like, the older guys. Right. So, like, when these, when these young guys started coming up, I didn't really know none of them, but then when I heard, you know, about how Pappy had gotten killed and stuff, I had made some videos basically just talking about that whole situation in that whole neighborhood and like trying to get people to understand you know he's deeper than what the media is showing y'all right and uh, stuff, stuff like that so like when that happened um when people when a couple of members of pbg saw that they said they were going to kill me after they saw that video and the reason they said they were going to kill me was because when i had been talking about um happy and his what it look like what it look like? What it look like? Top squad. I never seen a half a million. What it look like? The work stuff don't want to cook right. Got so many girls I get a good price. Tell me what a young rich nigga look like. Cause I don't know what it look like. Yeah, I don't know what it look like. Never seen a half a million named Carl Gang Kelly. Tell me what it look like. How'd you keep the game like a setter? How'd you switch lanes like a fetter? Never take a bitch away and lay up. Like a layup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she look good, but she has nothing going I swear that it feel like the first day of summer yeah, When that's when you know it be showing yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when that money be flowing yeah, yeah. That's when them bitches be 